AMJ. So today is going to be a really short video. Um, I'm only going to go over some reasons, pros and cons, if you will, of why I decided to go to this as opposed to keep on the phone. So one of the things that I'm going to miss the most is the audio. So this is the audio for the Osmo. This is the audio for the phone. I think the phone has a little better audio, but we'll check that on post. Um, the good thing about the Osmo is that it's got two mics, one in the front and one in the bottom. Um, another thing I'm going to miss from the phone is the... the how to zoom in. Um, the phone can zoom in and it has a fisheye look. So it's a little bit wider. Than so this would be normal. And this would be the fisheye look. So it gives me more area to cover. Um, one of the things I love about the Elmo, I mean the Elmo, <laughs> the Osmo is that it's got this cool little screen on the front. Um, so with the phone, it has really good camera in the back, but when I do a selfie mode, the camera is still okay. Um, not too bad, but there are some lenses that you can get for the Osmo that I might get, but for now it's working okay. That's about the two biggest things I'm gonna miss about the phone, the audio and the ability to zoom and zoom out. Um, the cool thing about this Osmo is that I could be filming here and then quickly turn it around and it flips right around and when it goes into selfie mode it tracks your face so if I go this way the Osmo itself follows me so I could leave it there come up here and it'll follow me wherever I go and the mic is on the front, so it's cool. One of the, another disadvantage is that when you're trying to film yourself, like to see if you're getting the right shot or anything like that, when you're on the phone and using the better camera in the back, you can't see what you're filming. So if I'm here trying to film something, I can't see what... I'm filming. Another, of course, disadvantage about the phone is that it's your phone. So if you're in the middle of a film or a time lapse or anything like that, you can't use it because it's your phone. So I'll be stopping to text or whatever. Also, I've noticed that it heats up a lot when I record for long periods of time. It heats up a lot. Now... I bought this Osmo used um, off eBay, off a seller there. So far, so good. You always kind of roll the dice with used stuff, right? It came with this little ball that moves the camera up or down or side to side. Um, it came with this case. Uh, it came with this stand, which is pretty cool. The case has a... Uh, 3.5 jack in the front on the bottom and one on the side so um, it'll be cool to use it also came with one of those um, little things that um, give you a GoPro mount and I have a ton of GoPro accessories so that'll come in handy too so one of the main reasons I bought this is because it's so tiny like it's it's really cool really portable it's about as big or half a phone size maybe um, so I can take it anywhere and I've heard reviews where people say you know um, they don't look at you as weird walking around with a big old camera um, you can put all sorts of accessories here that's another thing I loved is um, all the types of accessories that you can get for it um, one of the first ones that I bought was this which is a wireless module which goes down there and it also serves as a 
space to stand it up. So what the wireless module does is that it connects to your phone so it'll track you and follow you and you can kind of control it from afar. And one other thing that I um, bought for it was this thing, which is, it goes right here. slide in there so this is still works as a stand but it also gives you that 3.5 so you can put it onto a stand or uh, whatever I'll tell you this much the autofocus on the phone is a lot better um, but anyways this is something that I bought for the Osmo um, I've been a firm believer of um, nice cool little sticker of polarizing lenses ever since I bought my glasses so this is a PGY tech polarizing lens and that's to help with the glare came in this cool little dented um, metal I think this is the first time I actually open it Ooh. That's cute. So this, this will actually go on there. And the cool thing about it is that it should be, yep, magnetized. So I'll show you a clip of what it looks like on and off. So this is what it looks like with it off, on. See how it minimizes the glare a little bit. So I think that's something I'm gonna keep on there just so it looks a little nicer. So I ended up not using that filter a lot um, just because it kind of um, overexposes the video and um, I may mess with the settings or whatever, but I haven't. Um, I did go on two camping trips, which the video for that will come a little later. Um, and I did find myself videotaping a lot with the Osmo only because the camera moves up and down so I can be looking at the video and the camera shooting straight. It's pretty cool. Um, I did find myself also whenever we were going on road for terrain that I would forget the Osmo because the Osmo is a little cumbersome. So like I don't have a case for it so I'm afraid to break it in my pocket so sometimes I would leave it back at the Jeep. So I would take out my phone and film just really quick. Um, yeah, but other than that, I'm really happy with it. Oh yeah, one last thing. Um, the wife and you guys, MJ, don't know I have a YouTube channel. And I started this so you guys could see a little into my life. What kind of father, dad, man I was. Am, hopefully. Um, so, we'll see how long before they find out. They just know I like recording videos and making videos, but just for myself. Yeah. yeah. Hi. I see you on I see you on camera. Welcome to Rolling Trip. Today you have another amazing video for you guys. But before we get into the video, I want to see you guys. If you want to get the video, you want to get the video.